But, but I, I mean, the majority of the players are quote to quote mediocre players. So they are um, doing normal uh, raids, they're doing the heroic way, raids. And they don't invest as much time as we do into the game, which is fine because that's their choice or they are forced by family, money or whatever, whatever uh, work and, and stuff like this. They're forced to um, yeah, be casuals, which, which is, as I said, which is, which is quite fine. But um, my issue with this is that you, uh, let's say now you do uh, normals. You get a little bit of Azerite gear and bam, you're a little bit uh, dropped again because of the issue that I was just mentioning. Then uh, you, you are like roughly 305 item level, you do heroics, 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 bam, you get another Azerite um, uh, thing. You feel at least uh, that you are getting a downgrade again because you most likely don't have the, the traits upgraded again, then you go up again. So it's always like basically like this. So you always have like a... Like a sp uh, Upwards, um, yeah, kind of you getting power, more powerful, then you get a new Azerite gear, and I don't know. I think this this feels really, really bad, and especially this part here, this entire part here that is going down into, uh, yeah, going downhill. Uh, they have to change something about this. I I don't have the solution either. Um, how they could fix the these kind of things. But at 110, um, basically, I was two-shotting like every single uh, mob that was out there in, in the world with my Paladin uh, Retribution. Um, with like Antoro's uh, Mythic and uh, Heroic gear. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I think the average item was 160, is that right? I can't really remember anymore. Let me uh, take a look at Antoros. Um, uh, most likely the item level has changed, right? Let me take a look. Uh, uh, uh. Legion, Antoros, I don't know, one of those here. Yeah, they have already changed it. Yeah, so I, I don't really uh, remember the, uh, the amount of... Uh, I think it was 960 something or almost 970 I guess with, with anyway so I've really felt powerful here and then the patch it uh, patch it and immediately not just like I don't know like stages like this year or something so I don't know stage one uh, they are uh, reducing this and this as I said I have no 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 I've, I don't have the uh, the best uh, idea how to do this uh, either but uh, i don't know let's let's get rid of the um the artifact traits uh in your artifact weapon for example bam you're a little bit but you're still powerful so you dropped a little bit but you as i said you're still powerful then you do this um whatever here then you're a little bit uh, and you know but basically what you what they did is uh, throw you down down a mountain instead of creating stairs which in my opinion would have been, been way more fluent uh, to do so and especially um with all the um tourist file uh, thing here the battle for undercity as well as the battle for um what is it the tree <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you you know what I mean. So all the, um, the what is it, the War of Thorns uh, kind of things. They could have implemented gradually decreasing your the power of your champion so that it doesn't feel like drastic as it has been uh, once um, patch 8.0 uh, hit the life servers. Anyway, uh, let's go and uh, get rid of my nice um, yeah painting here and let's go back into the um, yeah, Q&A through this vast world that we constructed but then only would spend you know the rest of your months in a tiny fraction of that world and that felt like a missed opportunity and you know shallower than we wanted which is why we shifted to this scaling open world model in legion where the entire world is relevant at max level and in fact multiple new zones can open up at max level the problem with that of course is well now it's not the forces in nagrand are mighty and i need to gear up to overcome them it's while I was off questing in Nazmir and Voldun, I came back to Zoldazar and these things that I crushed at level 112 are now giving me a challenge at level 120 and it's the same mob and it's the same area right. and it's often the same type of quest. Um, and that, 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 that doesn't feel great. We, we're aware of that. Um, on balance, I think that once we settle into a groove at max level and begin gearing up again and overcoming that power setback, 
worth that sacrifice in terms of having the entire world available as playable space that can be relevant. But we have more work to do there. I think it, that's we're, we're looking for that silver bullet in you know future expansions that will let us combine the open world relevance with a feeling that you know you're still you're, that you're not actually sliding backwards as you level. So they're still looking for the silver bullet uh, they haven't found in Burning Crusade, Red of the Lich King, mm, Cataclysm. I was thinking Cataclysm or Pandaria. No, but Cataclysm came first. Pandaria, um, Legion, and now on BFA. So they had six expansions now, and they are still looking for a solution for those, those kind of things. I guess you need to get rid of some uh, game directors, <laughs> sorry, uh, because they are not worth their money, sorry. But the reality is, in terms of your relative feel to the world, that does need to happen on some level, right? Like, it's okay at the end of an expansion that you are destroying elites solo, that you're going into an area and pulling four or five enemies at a time, but a new expansion can't start at that point or there's nowhere to go. Where do you go from that point? Like you're just, I don't know, training through and just killing 30, 40 things with yeah. you know, zero effort the way you might go back to a raid from multiple expansions ago. That, that's not where the game can exist. But psychologically, completely understands that it, it just kind of a feels bad moment right now. Yeah, and like you say, it's, it's something that's been the case for every expansion ever going all the way back to Burning Crusade. Yeah. Um, it was something that we saw in Legion as well to some extent. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess TLDR, yes, we recognize it as an issue. Okay. Looking for that perfect fix for it still. A uh, question here from Mad One who says, uh, level scaling has odd consequences such as 110s dominating mm -hmm. 120s oh, in World they're, PvP, they're talking about it. Uh, and dual gathering alts locking experience since they're more powerful at 110 than 120. Any plans to change how level scaling works? So I saw a hot fix go out for the world PvP thing. Um, what's going on there? So yes, uh, we actually applied a hot fix last night that significantly reduces the benefit given um, to lower level players in world PvP in the new lands. Basically, it's, so our logic here was, with war mode being a thing, we we we've, we've always known that the front the the worst you know the the frustrating parts of world PvP are the completely completely one sided lopsided matchups. Or someone who has. Oh, and I, I'm, 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 I'm letting, letting me talk out because I am so exaggerated right now. I could spit in his face. Raid gear, who's exponentially more powerful than you, walks up and just destroys you. Now, we want item level to matter, but we don't want it to be completely, you know, dispositive to the point where you have no chance whatsoever. And I think we were going way. So. He is talking about world quest not being equal. Uh, first, my question is, uh, when has it all ever been? And no, Classic wasn't equal either. They, the most stuff that happens in World PvP, um, currently and in Classic, is either you're a max level, or the other one is a leg max level, and you are underleveled, or the other one is underleveled, and then you decide to engage. So, um, probably you don't know about me right now, I'm a full PvE player, and I don't engage into PvP unless I really have to. So if really someone is going on my nerves and stuff like this, um, but currently, it is way easier, actually, just to AFK, let him kill me. Um, because usually when I get killed, I'm do, like, doing world quests. Um, go to my uh, gra grave again, and then basically uh, use the world quest group finder add-on to shard into another area where there are less, uh, in my case, alliance players, as I'm a horde player. And just to, uh, yeah, avoid the alliance. Um... That's basically my way, because I don't know, if I fight him as a frost mage, I can kite him for basically forever, who, whatever it is. Uh, but you know, the fighting back and using my ice barrier and stuff like this just drags out more or less the inevitable uh, death of me, because I'm just not a PvP player. I'm garbage in PvP, I've never been good in PvP, 
and uh, I'm fine with that. I am playing the game for the PvE content, not for the PvP content. I mean, uh, I don't know. You don't go to a football player and uh, yeah, and ask him, yeah, why didn't you play ice hockey? Like, because I came here for football and not for ice hockey. Like, you know. So basically, which is fine. Then um, uh, the second uh, part that is happening, but it's more or less, uh, it's uh, like the uh, the myth about uh, world PvP in classic is the South Shore and Hillsbred uh, raid or Terrence Terrence Mill raid. Um, but basically, uh, what happened there was uh, you ran in there, you tried to kill someone, and uh, you either got killed or you got healed, and yeah repeat so you were like i don't know you were dying constantly uh i i can remember that i was standing there for like five minutes because the resurrection um timer has gone up to five minutes because we have been uh, battling there for three four five hours back then that was fun um because i had no clue what i was doing in the first place uh, i mean i i was a hunter uh just uh, right clicked on someone until he died or either I died and that, that's basically it but it was like I don't know there was always like 20 uh, alliance players and like 20 horde players and and but they, those kind of things don't happen uh, nowadays anymore so this is kind of out of out of the way already uh, and the other thing is um, you have the rock paper scissors kind of stuff going on so even if you're both 120 or let's say we're both is 110 it's still depending on your class obviously um i don't know let's say you're a gladiator and even though you are like in a disadvantage so the other is for example your scissors and you're the paper then usually the other class should win um, let's, let's say, by the way, I'm just making up an example, if that's the other way around or something, that, as I said, I'm just making up a, an example right now. So you're the, you're the mage, and rogues just own you. That's just how the, the state is currently, and, um, every single mage should lose to a rogue. So, obviously, if the rogue is, uh, someone like me, totally full PvE player, and then is, uh, engaging on a gladiator, I am quite sure that the, uh, gladiator guy still owns the heck out of me, because I have no clue what I'm doing, and what I have to kick, and I don't know when I have to stun you, or, you know, backstab, and uh, whatever the rogues can now, can do nowadays, um... But, but you get the idea. So it's basically still rock, paper, scissors. Uh, and I mean the, the rare circumstance that uh, an arena uh, gladiator, whatever, uh, 2,400 or whatever, 3,000 uh, ELO player, um, yeah, engages with lobbies is, I think, quite rare. Um, so the, ma the majority of the fights will be a level 120 guy is engaging a le another level 120 guy. And then, first of all, you have to be lucky that there is not another alliance or horde player uh, comes there and shifts the tides in one uh, direction or the other in the first place. So, what, 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 what's he talking about? World, world PvP. Now he is going to make a statement that the level 110 player still should have a chance over a 120 player. In what world does this make sense? If you have already put more hours into the game, you are way stronger and stuff like this, why would a 110 be able to kill you? I don't see any reason why this makes sense in the first place. But yeah, Ayn Hesikostas unfortunately uh, doesn't see this and uh, maybe I'm in the minority, maybe uh, more people think that low level players should actually be able to kill high end level players. Uh, but yeah, then we have to ask the question, where does it stop? Should a level 90 player, uh, I don't know, 3000 ELO gladiator uh, still be able to kill a 120 guy? As I said, where do we draw the line there, you know? Do we just draw the line, okay, uh, if a new expansion comes out, um, if you're highly fully geared in the last tier that you did, let's say Antoros for uh, the sake of, uh, for 
for the sake of an example, uh, should this guy still be able to kill a 120 heroic dungeon geared uh, player right now? Given that they are both the same class and both the same um, the, the same kind of skill level. Or the lower player may, might even have a slightly higher uh, uh, skill level. Should he still be able to kill him? In my opinion, no. Way too far to prop up lower level characters relative to what people were at max level. Mm. A 120 should have an advantage over a 110. Even if that 110 had Mythic and Taurus gear and optimal legendaries in that full setup. Now it's probably going to be close. Um, the, you know, the 120 no, shouldn't be able to it just roll be over close. the 110, but you should never feel like you're advantaged for staying nope. lower level. We think the changes we made got us there. If they haven't, we're going to continue to tweak things, but that's our goal. Okay, sounds good. Uh, moving on, next question from Salsimus. Salsissimus. There's a lot of S's in this name. Uh, who asked, "What is the design philosophy? Philosophy, excuse me, behind item level increasing so rapidly from the start of an expansion?" Uh, and does this mean we should expect a BFA-like squish every or every other expansion? Uh, so definitely not every expansion. Um, maybe every other or every third, honestly. And that's part of why we, we took steps in BFA to make it a much more streamlined process in the future so that it'll be less prone to errors and scaling problems and, and misses on our part. Um, the, the reason why this is the case, and, uh, and this is a question that's raised often, I think, you know, often in the context of the world of the outdoor world scaling question we just talked about a few minutes ago, players often ask, and, and, and reasonably so, well, why don't you just give us less power and then this wouldn't be a problem? Instead of having mob scale, why not just, you know, make every tier 10 item levels instead of 15 or make an item level mean less and then don't have the outdoor world scale at all? The reason why we have this is it's it's proven necessary over time, both for difficulty progression and reward progression for upgrades to feel meaningful through our dungeon and raid endgame. We have multiple difficulties and moving up from normal to heroic or heroic to mythic. I think items need we found that items need to be about ten to fifteen percent better than what you already have in order to actually have upgrades feel like upgrades and also with with smaller gaps than that it often comes down to well this has a bit more of this stat than that stat and i don't really care as much about the item itself or the item level which then translates to i go into a new difficulty i kill a mythic raid boss for the first time and this should be a moment of excitement but actually no one is particularly pleased with the loot that's on the corpse right. and maybe you're vendoring things you're like okay this is i guess like a tiny tiny 0.1 percent upgrade that doesn't feel great the other thing that it lets us do is there are huge skill gaps in World of Warcraft. That's that's the thing. The reality is, is a, there are you know the people at the very highest levels of the game are tremendously, massively more skilled that's than right. you or I, or even the people that are you know top one hundred or top one thousand, and and so on down from there. And that's the other part of just progression and power progression in MMO. I think over time, people can by by powering up by getting better gear effectively bring content that was out of reach within reach for them. And if those gaps are only like five, six percent, if fully geared up in gear from, you know, the first ten bosses in Antorus, I'm only six percent stronger than I was when I started, that's not enough to make up the gap between you and the people who did it as right. the trailblazers. And so it all of those reasons make us feel that we need these gaps between tiers. It's also when a new patch comes out. You know, if you've been doing, to use Legion examples because they're familiar, if you were doing Heroic Tomb of Sargeras, but you only got to Heroic Tomb of Sargeras in the second half of the tier, maybe your guild started with normal, you worked your way up through Heroic, but it was tough for you. You were kind of pushing the limits of your abilities, and Taurus comes out. Okay, you're going to start normal in Taurus because that's who you really are. You're at your core in normal mode raid guild that kind of pushes into Heroic a bit towards the end of a tier. If that normal mode and Taurus gear isn't any better than the heroic tomb gear that you've spent the last few months earning, right? Well, then what's even like? Well, what do you do? You have nowhere to go. You have no meaningful rewards. You might feel pushed into heroic right away before you're actually ready for it. And so, we've tweaked. You know, we've we've pl experimented with different sk with different values here, different rates of progression over the years. I think the structure that we've settled into is one that feels pretty stable and works. And so, we're balancing the rest of the game and adjusting the rest of the game around that core. Yeah, it's a it's kind of a, a function of yes, it's a little bit weird when we have to squish item levels, but we're s avoiding so many other issues by 
putting ourselves in that situation. Basically. So cool. 